everyone, it's Mari here and Kelly and I are back this week with another challenge. Our challenge this week is to use art as inspiration and what you can see right here are some still shots of the process of me creating the watercolor background for my piece that I'm going to be working on here today. So stay tuned and I will tell you more about my project today and here it comes. Okay, you can see that my painting slowly taking shape. As you can see where I've added just the different colors. Oops, that's still wet. <laughs> just the different colors in here. You can see where it's got the blooms and that just to make it look really interesting. And um, yeah, I really like how it's looking so far with the, the green base down here at the bottom the Payne's Grey up here at the top for the illusion of the sky and then my poppies are just slowly taking shape here so I'm liking how this is looking so far. Okay so I just want to tell you a little bit about <clears throat> this process that I did. I'm going to kind of piece this video together just to give you a little bit of perspective about what I did to create this watercolor piece. Um, first of all I'll start out with the paper that I used. This is just some Canson watercolor paper. You can get this at Walmart. Um, it's about, I don't know, maybe nine to twelve dollars in that range for a nine by twelve pad. I probably wouldn't use any of my Arches watercolor paper for scrapbooking, which is what this is going to be used for, just because it's very expensive. And when I'm working on um, something like this, it's usually an experiment. I am not a watercolor artist by any stretch of the imagination. I love to play with watercolors. I have uh, several different kinds of watercolors in my craft room. And um, I'll just tell you a little bit about my process here as, uh, as I go. So what I did to create this was I started off by finding an inspiration piece on Pinterest. And once I had that, I just took my pencil and I kind of roughly sketched out where I wanted these three um, flower blossoms to be on my, <clears throat> on my paper. And then once I had those, I took my uh, watercolor brush and I wet the background around the flowers and I took some uh, Payne's Grey, some M. Graham Payne's Grey paint and I just really lightly went in with that Payne's Grey. So I only had water around the flowers. So this floral area was not wet because I only wanted my paint to go where I wanted my background. And I wanted it to just be really loose. You know, you can see that this is just, this just creates a hint of a background. And that's all I wanted. That's all I needed for this. I didn't need it to be, you know, anything more specific. I'm not good enough at watercolor painting to even do that if I wanted to. So I just wanted to create that, that idea of that, that background. So, once I had that and that was dry, I went to the bottom, I wet the bottom and I put a bunch of different colors of green in the bottom to create a little bit of depth for that bottom area. So I used three different colors of green from Mission Gold paints and I don't remember what three greens I used. If I remember, I'll put a caption on the video here. But I mean, really, if you wanted to create something like that, it's just any three green paints that you like, right? And so I just went in and put some different little green areas there just to create, once again, a little bit of depth. So once that was dry, then I went in with some pink paints. I used two different tones, a lighter and a darker. Once again, these are Mission Gold paints that I used. And I just I went in with the light first I wet the area first wet it all because this now was all dry the other areas were dry I wet this I went in with the pink the light pink I then went in with the darker pink and just created some little shadow areas just in some lines where I had created where maybe I wanted to create sort of a little bit of a hint of where the depth and the petals might meet and that kind of thing so then I just kind of played around with it. I dabbed some of the water up as I went. I let some of these blooms form in the paint, which I just think looks really interesting and fun. 
and I did that for all of the different um, pe or, uh, blossoms and once that was dry and I liked the looks of that I then went in with a little bit of soft black for Mission Gold and created that little bit of center area then I just used a really dry watercolor water water brush with just like a little bit of water in it and I went in and got some a really dense amount of that soft black and just put in these little kind of black dot areas okay then I just went in with some different greens again and some Payne's Gray and I kind of created this illusion of some stems and some leaves and that's it guys that's about all there was to that this took me about 45 minutes or so to create this then what I did was I took a, a piece of parchment paper I slid this in I folded the parchment paper so that it this was kind of like in a sleeve of parchment paper I took it down to my iron and I just really kind of went over it because this counts in watercolor paper is really cheap it's inexpensive it's good it's good for this purpose um, but it really warps badly and so I didn't want that to be so so badly warped I just went down and I used a really hot iron over top of that parchment paper and it really smoothed it out nicely so now I have the base for my challenge piece this week so Kelly and I are doing these pieces then as uh, our so our challenge this week is to create a scrapbook a page that is inspired by art so this was inspired by a piece um, actually a few different pieces that I kind of put together from Pinterest and I just looked at some things on there found something that I liked and then just did my own thing and um, so I was that was my inspiration piece but I created this piece of art and now I'm just going to take this piece of uh, or this photograph of Bailey which is kind of perfect for this right because it's uh, it's got those floral that floral in it it's just a really soft photograph and it looks sort of like a soft background and it just is going to look really nice on this um, piece of art as its background and my idea is to do the journaling up here kind of in an artsy way I don't know how that's going to turn out I'm going to have to practice on just a practice piece of paper and I have a quote in mind that I want to use there I want to put a quote here and then I'm just going to put Bailey's photo on here and do a little bit of really simple matting and that's going to be the layout it's going to be very very simple okay so stay tuned okay so you can see that I uh, chickened out and I decided that I couldn't do that handwriting on there myself because I was really scared that I would do a poor job of it after creating the painting I didn't want to ruin that with some bad handwriting or something so um, what I did was I just went on to my computer I put the quote on there that I wanted in the size and so on I actually practiced on a piece of just plain copy paper to make sure that it was going to be positioned in the right place on my painting and so on I practiced made sure that it was the right size I actually practiced it also on a piece of cans and watercolor paper to make sure that my Canon Pixma printer was going to print nicely on this piece of paper and so I did a few tests and I liked how it looked and so it actually looks great on there so the quote is wherever life plants you bloom with grace and now I'm just gonna do some really really simple finishing up so I just took a piece of this text paper from Chasing Dreams which was on my desk from my last project um, this paper is genius I, I don't know where Maggie Holmes gets these ideas from but this interesting text and how she has this on this paper in a distressed way like I usually try to buy several sheets of her text paper in every single one of her uh, new um, collections because I just always think that this text paper is really cool and I love using it to layer so I'm, I'm actually going to do just kind of like a an offset layer here of some in some way I'm not even really sure 100% how I'm going to do it but I'm not going to just stack it I want it to just kind of be kind of messy looking kind of like that I guess that looks good to me and I'm going to put this together and I am going to be almost done so the the, the big part of this layout was doing that watercolor piece and um, you know like I said th this actually only took about 45 minutes to create and I, I'm not I um, anybody who knows anything about watercolor can look at this and see that 
I don't really know what I'm doing, but the thing that I really love about watercolor is that it's um, really forgiving and it's probably one of my favorite mediums to paint with because of that. Like, you can actually sort of look like you might know what you're doing or create something that's kind of pretty um, without being an expert at it. And I, I do really like that about it. Now I'm just going to take these puffy, this puffy phrase or word in this case from um, Oasis and I'm going to finish off my layout just by putting this word beautiful on here because I think this picture of her is beautiful. I think she looks really pretty in this photo. And I think this word is perfect for this. So I'm just going to finish it off. And boy, I loved these. Did I don't know if you guys had these, but I have used these almost up. I love them. They were also genius. Crepe paper though, right? Like crepe paper just knows how to do it. Do it all. <laughs> do it all and do it right. Yeah. Okay. So just going to stick this on here. And so there it is. It says beautiful. I think this is beautiful. I really like how this turned out. And I'll show you what I'm going to do with this. It's 9 by 12. So I've got, I have a 9 by 12 album that's mostly Project Life. But I've got, so this is, you know, Project Life album. I think I've done a share of this album before on my channel and I'm just going to find a 9 by 12 protector in here and this layout is going to be part of this um, album. So I'm just going to stick this in here. Oh, I think I have this in here upside down. Yes, I do. I'll just put this in here. It should be the right size. I didn't test that out, but I'm assuming. <laughs> yep, it's good. It works. So that is going to be my layout for this week for our challenge. So something a little bit different than what you normally might see on my on my channel, but it's um, at least for scrapbooking. But what's interesting about this and the challenge for this week was, you know, try to create a piece that's inspired by art. And um, this is really, you know, the back, the actual photograph and that part of it is really, really simple. But you could actually frame something like that um, and have it as a, you know, a piece that you can look at all the time. Okay, thanks guys. That's my challenge piece for today. Make sure you go over and check out Kelly's channel as well to see um, her layout that was inspired by art. And we'll see you another time on our channels. Bye-bye.